Kajora the pygmy elephant calf, the sole survivor of a herd that was killed from suspected poisoning in January, is in good health, despite going through a teething period now. Kajora, or fondly called Jo, was three months old when it was rescued. Jo is currently adapting well to his new home at the Lokkawi Wildlife Park, located in Putatan, Kota Kinabalu, under the care of Wildlife Rescue Unit Rangers, Augustine David and V. Siva Pirasath. Wildlife Department Assistant Director Dr. Sen Nadan says, Jo, who is six months now, is very curious to learn about his surroundings and would sniff at almost anything and anyone near him. The past three months, he's doing very well. He's, gained 50, uh, he's been gaining 50 kilos. But we had a sort of a panic in between. We ran out of the milk that we had initially given him and we went to the company that produces it. They were not producing it anymore, so we had to change milk. And uh, like babies as well, it, she, he developed diarrhea. So he was having diarrhea for a week, but now it's fine. Um, body weight is going back to normal. Mm. So in fact, all the elephants that we have here, that we have been kept, that have, were rescued, um, inevitably are kept in captivity. But uh, we, are, we, are, we will be trying to do some kind of a rehabilitation for a population. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with uh, the Bonyo Elephant Sanctuary, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. which we are under construction in Kinabatangan. Mm -hmm. So we hope that would be a place where we can do rehabilitation for elephants. In December last year, 14 pygmy elephants were found dead in the logging area in Gunung Rara, near the famed Danum Valley and Malayo Basin, in the southeastern side of the central region of Sabah. Joe lost his mother in this incident. Sabah Wildlife Department Director Dr. Lawrence Ambu says, Pictures of the internal damage and decomposing rate of the carcasses, among others, contribute to that conclusion that the 14 pygmy elephants were poisoned. Unless the toxicology analysis, which is still ongoing in Australia and Thailand, proves otherwise, we might never be able to ascertain the source of the toxicant, whether it has administered deliberately or a freak accident. There is a strong possibility that poison use will not be identified as it has short half-life and could not be detected even hours after, in, uh, after ingestion. Dr. Laurentius also says investigations from the wildlife department, police and other relevant agencies to find the source of death of the elephants is still ongoing. Currently, the Sabah Wildlife Department is working together with the World Wildlife Fund Malaysia or WWF and Danong Kirong Field Centre or DGFC to install satellite collars on 20 to 30 elephants in a hope to identify the movements of the herd in Gunung Rara and possibly shed more light on the tragic incident.